Hi guys, welcome to my video. Today we will learn how to find the equation of a parallel line given only a point. The example problem is, let's find the equation of a line that passes through point 111 and it is parallel to the graph of y equals 3x plus 3. Let's write our equation in slope intercept form. First, let's define some key words. Parallel. Parallel means two lines on a plane that never meet. They are always the same distance apart. Therefore, they share the same slope, but have different y-intercepts. Although the different set of lines are going in different directions, the two lines on each set never meet. They are always the same distance apart. Therefore, the lines are parallel to one another. Slope Slope means how steep a straight line is. The equation can also be written as rise over run. The slope can be negative, positive, zero, and undefined. Here is a picture of a negative slope. Here is a picture of a positive slope. Do you notice the difference between positive and negative slope? The difference is positive slope is going up and negative slope is going down. Slope of zero. The slope of zero usually the equation will look y equals a number because it does not include an x value. Therefore, slope equals zero. Undefined slope. Undefined slope is the opposite of slope of zero. In undefined slope, the line and the equation are only through x, and the y value is zero. The equation will be x equals any number. Slope intercept form. Slope intercept form is the equation of a straight line, which is y equals mx plus b. m stands for the slope, b stands for the y intercept. Y intercept. Y intercept means where a straight line crosses the y axis of a graph. Here's a picture. In this picture, the y-intercept is 2 because it is where the line is crossing the y. In order to figure out the equation of line 1, we must analyze line 2. Here is the given information. Line 1, we were only given a point, which is 1, 11. Line 2, we were given the equation of y equals 3x plus 3. Keep in mind, the parallel lines have the same slope, but have different y-intercepts. Let's look 
line 1, the information given is the point 111, and line 2 is y equals 3x plus 3. Let's look at the equation for line 2. The equation of line 2 is y equals 3x plus 3, which is in slope-intercept form. The m stands for the slope, b stands for the y-intercept. Because they are parallel lines, they have the same slope. So therefore, line 1 and line 2, their slope equals 3. Within the information given, we can plug in the slope into the equation of line 1. So far, we have y equals 3x plus b. 3 stands for the slope given by equation of line 2. b, we have yet to figure out, which is the y-intercept. Now, we must find the y-intercept. In order to do so, we must use the point-slope form. First, let's define what point-slope form is. Point-slope form is an equation used to generate the equation of a straight line passing through a given point with a slope. M is the slope. Y1 is the Y value given in a point. X1 is the X value in a given point. Point slope form. Here are steps of the point slope form. Step one. In order to get rid of the fraction, you must cross multiply. Therefore, canceling out x minus x1. Remember, what you do to one side, you must do to another. The result becomes y minus y1 equals m in parentheses x minus x1. Now, let's go back to the given information for line 1. The point given is 1, 11, and slope is 3 because line 2 and line 1 are parallel. They have the same slope given in the equation of line 2, which becomes x1 equals 1 and y1 equals 11. Now we must plug in the given point into the point slope form, which becomes y minus 11 equals 3 in parentheses x minus 1. Please remember the order of operations. Parentheses comes first, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. An easy way to remember is, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. P stands for parentheses, E for exponents, M for multiplication, D for division, A for addition, and S for subtraction. 
After plugging in the given information, the point given 111, we have the equation of y minus 11 equals 3 in parentheses x minus 1. Remembering our order of operation, we must first distribute the 3 in the parentheses. We must multiply the x and the 1 both by 3 given us the equation of y minus 11 equals 3x minus 3. Now, in order to leave the y by itself, putting the equation in slope-intercept form, we must add 11 to cancel out on the opposite side, which gives us y equals 3x plus 8. Notice that our y equals 3x plus 8 includes both the slope and a y-intercept of 8. Giving us the equation in slope-intercept form. Remember that the slope-intercept form includes both a slope and a y-intercept form in the order of y equals mx plus b. Therefore, our answer in slope-intercept form is y equals 3x plus 8. Now, the equation for line 1 is y equals 3x plus 8, and the equation of line 2 is y equals 3x plus 3 they have both the same slope, but they have different y-intercepts because they are parallel. I hope that this video will help you conquer the crazy world of mathematics. Thank you and tune in next time for our next video.